Charles returns to Boston tonight for the first time since signing with the Washington Capitals. When Charles left Boston, he told the fans that the city will always have a special place in his heart. And of course, fans feel the exact same way. WBC's Dan Roach is live at the Garden Force tonight. And Roachy Char will have to wait a little bit longer for that warm welcome from the crowd. Yeah, David and Lisa, it's a shame because you know this place would have been rocking tonight. A standing thunderous ovation would have come down on Big Z as he took to the ice here in the, as a member of the Washington Capitals, but it won't happen. He will have that chance on April 18th, though, when Big Z and the Capitals return here and hopefully in front of fans here at the TD Garden. Now, Charo was on the ice here at the Garden earlier today for the Caps' morning skate. The trip obviously special for the former Bruins captain, not only seeing his former teammates, but the people behind the scenes, too as well as his family. Yeah, his wife and kids stayed here in Boston when he left to play with Washington. Chara, meanwhile, spoke about how much this city means to him. I feel really connected with, with the Boston uh, Boston fans and, and city of Boston. I, I, I uh, developed so many uh, great um, friendships and connections, and, and we went through uh, so many ups and downs um, together. Um, we, we always uh, felt their energy and support uh, being, you know, with us and behind us in those times and, and you know, the best moment that, that we all can probably uh, share is to, to bring Stanley Cup back to Boston in 2011. It's going to be great to, to see him back in Boston. Um, he's been doing great this year and um, we definitely miss him, but uh, happy he's succeeding. Yeah, Chara has already faced the Bruins twice this season. He scored a goal as the teams each won one and lost one in Washington, D.C. earlier. This will be the first game for Z as a visitor at TD Garden since March 16, 2006. That's just shy of 15 years. Lisa, I think you were just turning the legal age of alcohol buying then. David, I think you were turning the big 5-0. Back to you guys. <laughs> One of us feels very, very warmly toward you right now, Dan. Thank you. And it's not me. <laughs> All right, Rochi, thank you.